Hi guys, I wanted to quickly make a video and this one is about why the narcissist never loved you and they never will. Now this, this can be something um, challenging for survivors to wrap their mind around because when we're going back, when they're trying to hoover us back in and they're quote unquote playing nice again and you know, sh doing the right things, quote unquote, trying to lure you back in and get in your good graces, you think you're feeling the love again. And it takes you back to the love bombing stage because you're yet again in the love bombing stage. And you're like, okay, you know, everything is going well. You're feeling, you're quote unquote, feeling the love again. That's not what's going on. That is not what's going on and is not what has ever gone on. You have to keep in mind that the narcissist love bomb stage, as with anything else that the narcissist is doing, it's fake. There's no real sincerity in it. Because if it were, they wouldn't have to keep going back and forth with it. They would just be able to maintain that for the most part. You wouldn't have all of these jumps and, and leaps and bounds, highs and lows. They would be able to maintain it if there was some sincerity. But what I find is survivors make excuses for the narcissist. Oh, this is, this is just the way they love. It's a little dysf dysfunctional, but it's their version of love. Or it's because they were abused. It was because they have attachment issues. It was because... These are just a bunch of excuses and a way for us to justify and try to twist their behaviors to make it seem okay to accept it. It's not love. It is not love in any, any type of way on any level. The narcissist cannot love you, did not love you, and will not love you. And the quicker we can make our peace with that very, very important piece of information is going to help you heal because once you fully believe it you can let go of that attachment because most people I know I don't want someone that doesn't love me but if it's something dysfunctional in my mind that believes they're loving me in their own ability or they're loving me out of their dysfunction maybe that could tap into a codependence sympathy and make them feel that sympathy for the narcissist to say, okay, you know, it's, it's not the way that I love and it's not the conventional way, but this is their way of loving me. No, it's their way of abusing you. It is their way of abusing you. So we have to keep in mind, A, the love bomb stage and everything, it's all fake. They're just doing whatever they have to do to reel you back in. And once they get comfortable that they have you back in their grasp, then, you know, is back to reality. The mask, you know, the mask comes back off. And the other thing is the narcissist, they don't know what love is and they can't reciprocate it. They don't even love themselves or else they would just be them true selves from the beginning, right? They're trying to hide it. And a lot of people argue that the narcissists don't even know themselves because they're constantly morphing for whatever that supply needs them to be, whatever they need to be in any given situation. So they're constantly acting different ways in all these different characters so that they can continue to get the supply that they're trying to get from each person that they interact with. So they can have a million different faces, but none of it is sincere. So, you know, if we're keeping in mind that they don't love themselves, how can they love someone else? And, you know, I'm going to give you something else to think about. They weren't looking for love. The narcissist was looking for supply. No matter what they told you, you know, saying I love you all quick, um, acting like they love you, giving you that illusion, what they're looking for is whatever they want need or desire that you have and it's not your love it is not your love 
They weren't never looking for love. They were looking for something, whether it was a financial means, whether it was sexual, whether it was your admiration. Okay? Now, when I put the word love in Google, these are the type of words that pop up with the definition. Compassion, caring, consideration, friendship, attachment, devotion, sympathy, charity, goodwill, humanity. That sounds like what the codependent or the survivor of narcissistic abuse is trying to give the narcissist. But it certainly doesn't sound like what the narcissist is giving back. Now, you think about your interaction with the narcissist. Do you feel like they were doing any of those words that Google was saying? If they had such of an attachment, they wouldn't have moved on so quickly in a relationship. Where's the friendship and the consideration and the caring and the humanity and the devalue phase? Where's the compassion, the charity and the goodwill and the reciprocation of you doing good things for them and them doing it back? Where's the sincerity? Everything that they do is with a motive. It's with a motive. So, you know, they never loved you. Even if you had 10 children, even if you gave them 20 years of your life, none of it was out of love on their end. And that's pretty crushing for a person. You know, I'm not just here to try to spit something out harsh without any type of delicacy about it because you're talking to someone who has been there and done that you know I revealed in another video you know my narcissist raped me and I conceived a child out of that I had to go I went through that pregnancy alone I had to fend for myself in every level I gave birth alone I had a very painful c-section I had to heal from that and, and I'm raising, you know, the child and I'm taking care of the child and on my own. The narcissist has never, ever gave one cent or, or done anything. So I know the devastation of someone, you know, sitting down with you knowing that you didn't want to put the carriage before the horse, looking you in the eyes, knowing that marriage was important to you and, and all these things. And then that narcissist raping you and, and all these things. So I know, I know what it's like to be betrayed and stuff. But that's not what a person does that loves you. So if you think about how this narcissist was treating you, that's not what people do that love you. And then when times get bad, we often want to go back to that love bombing phase and think, well, you know, they did that. They were good for a few days. And we're leaning on that and holding on to it by a thread. Like that was the piece of love that's going to come back eventually. No. If it comes back, it'll only be as a manipulation tactic to reel you back in. Whatever the bare minimum that they have to do to get you back, if they want to fight to get you back. So, you know, it's very important when you're healing from narcissistic abuse to know and to acknowledge it and to make your peace with the fact that the narcissist never loved you. They can't love you. They won't ever love you. They'll never love themselves, their children, anybody. So it's not even personal to you. They're not going to love nothing on this earth pretty sad but that is the reality no matter how long you've been with them no matter how much you've done for them or sacrificed for them they're not going to see any of that as love it was just really good supply that they probably don't want to lose and they're going to do whatever they have to do to try to keep you in the wing to do to get whatever they want to get out of you but please don't struggle with, you know, oh, I can't walk away. They love me. They need me. They're just hurt. They're just broken and I'm going to fix it. No, you're not. You can't fix it. You can't fix it. There's, you can't, there's no loyalty in the world to fix it. Staying with them out of your own quote unquote love. And we'll talk about that 
in another video because that's dysfunction right there. So I can't call that love. You staying with the narcissist, that's not love. So we'll talk about that in another video though. Let's just focus on the narcissist doesn't love you. They don't even love themselves. They don't love anything. They don't know what love is. Okay? They don't know. Love bomb, that's all a big front to reel you back in. You know, take a piece of paper. And I had to do this. And I wrote down all the pros and cons of my narcissist. That list of cons was so long. And, and go look at that list whenever you feel like you're having a weak moment when you are sensationalizing the love bombing uh, phase. Write down some of these horrible things. What has the narcissist done to you that was nasty and that was disloyal and, and all those things? Write it down. You need to remember these things because sometimes, yeah, time does heal wounds. And it may eventually make you more friendly towards the narcissist because you're not as mad as when it initially had happened to you because you're healing from it. But you have to find a way to remember these things so that you're not lured back in for around three, four, five, six, seven plus. You don't need that. You don't need that. The narcissist doesn't love you. Now, I hope this video helps someone. If you have any questions, ask me down, down um, in the comment section. Feel free to like and subscribe, and there'll be more videos. Until next time, take care.